I'm Cody from Questmark Flooring. If you're responsible for maintaining concrete floors, there are tons of different repair materials you can use, and not all of them are created equal. Today, we're comparing Questmark's epoxy mortar to a cementitious patching mortar that you might find in the hardware store. Now, you can compare data tables all day long, but I want to see how they hold up in the field. So for our test today, we're going to drop this 10-pound steel bearing on each of these materials from various heights and see how they hold up. Let's go out in the warehouse and do our test. So here we are in the warehouse, and we have two patches here. One's your basic cementitious material, and the other is Questmark's epoxy mortar. Here's our 10-pound steel bearing, and behind me I have an 8-foot ruler. We're going to drop the bearing from 2 feet, 4 feet, 6 feet, and 8 feet, and see how each of the patches hold up to the blunt force. I'll meet you back in HQ afterwards to discuss the results. Now we have some interesting results already. The four foot drop on the basic cementitious material has already created some cracking. Come take a closer look. Here in the center, we have a small dent where the ball hit the patching material. And surrounding that, we have cracks in a star shape. Now next, we're gonna move up to the six foot drop and see how that compares. Now at the eight foot drop, we saw a more or less complete failure of the cementitious patch. If you wanna take a closer look. While before we were seeing some hairline cracking, now the concrete patch is broken apart in completely separate pieces, uh, no longer bonded with the floor. And I think we can say a complete failure at eight feet. results from Questmark's epoxy mortar. If you take a closer look here, you'll see that where the ball hit, it flattened the sand, but it's still completely up to grade, and there's no cracking at all so far up to four feet. We're seeing some pretty incredible results from Questmark's epoxy mortar. If you take a closer look here, you'll see we have essentially the exact same thing. Where the ball hits, it flattens out the sand, creates no cracking, and all remains completely level where the original patch was laid. The cementitious patching material began to fail only at the four foot drop. At the six foot drop, it failed even worse. At the eight foot drop, it was completely and utterly coming up from the concrete. Not very impressive results. Compare that to Questmark's epoxy mortar. Four foot drop, no problems. Six foot drop, no problems. Even at the eight foot drop with the 10 pound steel bearing, our patch held up admirably. Now that begs the question, if the steel ball can't break this patch, what might? I think we have some ideas for what might work. So we see that the steel drop did nothing to break up Questmark's epoxy mortar. Let's see what a sledgehammer can do. Wow, that was impressive. Swinging this hammer five times at this patch has produced almost no effect. The first hit was near the edge and we got a small crack out here, but then five, five additional hits all around the patch, no breaking up right on the bare concrete. Really impressive results. We were finally able to crack the mortar using a sledgehammer, but even then only a little bit. I think it's safe to say that your employees are not gonna be swinging a sledgehammer at your floor as hard as they can. So I think Questmark's epoxy mortar will hold up to anything you could possibly throw at it. Thanks for your time. To learn more about Questmark flooring and our maintenance products for concrete floors, please visit us at www.questmarkflooring.com or call us at 1-800-743-8890.